Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And this is Django migration series where we are going to cover what is Django and everything all about Django's migration from basic to advanced level. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out any of the video. And also watch the entire video so that you understand what is going on and how J Django migrations are used. This is part one video of Django migration series where we are going to cover what is Django migration, why are they used? then we are going to create a project and set it up then we are going to create a model and create its migration and also make some changes in the migration so we'll start by asking our first question what are django migrations so django migrations are a way to propagate the model changes of the django into the database table for example we make changes in the model saying uh, let's say we add a new field that should be reflected in the uh, database table right so that we can store values so migrations are used in order to do that then removing a field could be a thing then renaming field maybe adding a foreign key that is also yes that is also possible by using django migrations then we can create a new model itself which will create a new table in the database when migrations are applied so why django migrations are used so django migrations are used because we can write orm in django and that is the way which we can communicate with the database to do database operations instead of writing raw queries you know that is called orm and i have already covered the orm series so make sure to click on the i button and check the entire orm series i have explained in a very simple way it will be very easy to understand and learn about ORM. Now let's get into code and build our project. And also I have linked the GitHub repo link in the description so you all can check that out. I have my environment already activated and I am using pip env. Okay. So we'll start by installing our Django. So I'll say pip env install Django. You all can use any other virtual environments. Now we'll create our first project. I'll call it as start project and I'll call it as SRC. Okay. So the syntax is Django admin start project SRC and our project is created. We'll navigate inside the SRC and we'll create our first app. So I'll call it as Django admin start app and demo. So yep, our app and our project is created. Let's minimize this. We'll go inside SRC again inside SRC and in settings.py we'll go to we'll add demo because this is what it is. This is the app name that we have to configure in our project. So that is done. Now we'll go to demo. We'll go to models.py because that is what we need. That is the only thing that we need. And we'll start by creating our first model. We'll call it as car and we'll add some properties. So I'll call it as class car and it will be models dot model first we'll add model name so model name this will be models dot care field and i'll take max length of 100 then year field this will be like cars year it will be models dot positive integer field then we are going to have color color will be models dot care field and max length of 20 then we have engine capacity capacity this will be also model start actually this will be decimal field where max digit will be equal to 4 and decimal places will be equal to 2 okay and then finally we will have price field so price will be equal to mod it should be model start decimal field again here we'll say max digits of 10 and decimal places of 2 again. Okay. So these are few of the fields or properties you can say of the car model and I'll add one more that will be called as manufacturer. So like the brand which has created this car or company which has created this car manufacturer. This will be models dot care field. Okay. Give max length of 20 over here. And you know manufacturers are always like limited let's not give user an option to every time enter the detail of manufacturer so we'll create a choice field okay and in order to do that we'll use django's text choices over here so for that we'll create another class called as manufacture choices this will be taking models dot text choices and in this we'll have some few company names okay or brand names you can say I'll start by saying BMW, sorry, BMW. Then we have Honda, then we'll have Ford. And finally, we'll have others. So our first model is ready, which is car model. And in that we have first called as manufacturer choices, which consist of 
all these choices and then we have a field called as manufacturer which is care field and over here we just have to add something called a choices and it will be manufacturer choices dot choices okay then what should be default one uh, default one i'll add it as others okay so we can give that as well so that is what i'm trying to show you all over here so manufacturer choices dot default sorry it should not be default it it will be the name of that so it will be other uh, let me quickly bring this down so our manufacturer first field is ready or first property then we have something called as model name then year color engine capacity and price this is our first model and these are the fields of that now what we have to do in order to create uh, or apply migration uh, basically we can say in order to propagate these changes from the Django models to the database the, it is a two-step process first we have to create migrations and then once migration is created we can commit those migrations on the github okay and when those migrations are created then we have to apply the migrations so this is required why because let's say you as a developer is working on this project and another developer is working on this project so you make some changes in the model and you create a migration file and you apply it on your local system your local database so it is working for you now when that code reaches other developer his local database won't have the same fields or won't have the same database right in order for his database to sync that migration file which you committed he also should apply that migration in his database so that is why it is two step process so the first step is let me clear this first step is we have to create migration so in order to create migrations this is what we do python manage.py manage.py file is present in the src directory and we are inside the first src directory make migrations okay this is the command m a k e m i g r a t i o n s make migrations okay if you press this and enter it should work normally it should work before that you must uh, you should make sure to save your model start by which i haven't done so i'll click on ctrl s and yes that is saved this should be able to help you create your migration file and if you see in the demo under migrations folder there is no file okay i'll click on this and it cre it said migration for demo this is create model car 001 initial.py so that is one migration is created of number 0001 and if you check migrations folder 0001 initial.py is created over here so this is our first migration is created and when we commit we have to make sure to commit this file and now in order to apply that migration python manage.py migrate this is the command this will like take in all the migration file and apply it or propagate the changes to the database so these were all the migration those were pending like you all know django has inbuilt user authentication user authorization everything so all those were applied along with that our initial.py this one demo.initial.py is also applied so okay it said this means our migration is applied how we can verify it we can go to the database and we can verify otherwise we will go to admin.py we will register our model over here and we will verify it if those changes are present or not if the changes if there is di uh, like difference between models.py and uh, the database it should give us error so i'll import it so from dot models import car okay and admin dot site dot register car so our site is registered or our model is registered on our and admin side okay and i will create a super user so the command is python manage.py create super user so super user is a user who is admin and we can log into the admin side you know uh, by this credential okay i'll change it to admin 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 yes let me clear this and python manage.py run server localhost 8000 slash admin so this is way to reach admin side and i already have credentials saved over here you can see our app name that is demo and in that our model name that is cars and if you click on this there is no error that means it it was actually it worked successfully and if i click on car these are all the fields that we had created in our models.py 
pi those are already registered in the database and uh, is being shown in the admin side as well so thus we are able to confirm that we were successfully able to migrate or like propagate all the model dot pi changes into the database otherwise there is another way to verify if you all are using any other database like postgres or mysql you all can go to its admin panel login and verify it from there since i'm using sql lite i don't really want to verify that or i can't really verify it so that is one thing i want to also show you all there can be one error that comes when we are creating uh, when we are using this make migration command so there are sometimes unfortunate times when we run this command and even if you have made changes in your models.py and you have saved it you won't get any error and there will be no migrations created so when that happens right all you have to do is give a space and enter the uh, app name so my app name is demo so i will click that and enter it there are no changes detected as of now because i have not made any changes so that's why it is giving me this so that was how we were able to create our first migration and apply it to the database now let's move on and we have to create say a few more fields into this so let's start by first creating our fields and then we'll see how to create migration for that and uh, again propagate it to the database or apply it to the database so we'll scroll down and we'll start by adding our first field and we'll call it as transmission transmission and this will be models uh, come on it should be models dot care field and i'll give max length of 20 okay and here one error will come i want to show you all how to fix that error so that is why i'm going to purposely uh, introduce an error over here so let's say you add a field called as uh, transmission character field max length of 20 then we are going to add four more fields one will be mileage this will be called as models models dot positive integer field and we are going to give default as zero over here then number seats or uh, number of seats it should be so models dot positive integer field and again actually default should be two or four but i'm going to enter it as zero then is hybrid and this will be by default boolean field and boolean fields can be true or false so let's keep it as false by default okay then uh, we can say electric this will be again models dot boolean field and default will be equal to false so we have added five new fields one is transmission field another one is mileage number of seats is hybrid and is electric these are character fields, positive integer fields and boolean fields. Okay. So now before uh, actually let's apply the migrations. Okay. And I want to add a data and show you all what happens. So I will maximize this or like bring it up. Then we will say python manage.py make migrations. Yeah. Same command python manage.py make migrations. This should work. If it says no changes detected, you just put a space and add the app name. So that is what I'm going to do for this time in order to show you all this is demo and it will create migrations only of that app. So if you make changes in say demo to app and if you try to make, uh, create a make migrations by using make migrations command space demo, the demo to apps migrations won't be created. So this is also important thing to note. I'll click on enter and there we go we get an error so it says it is possible to add it is impossible to add non-nullable field transmission to car without specifying a default this is because database needs something to populate the existing rows what does this mean is i have added a new field called as transmission okay and it is a character field it can be any field okay uh, over here we have character field but there could be some data already into the database let's say we have already five cars in the database for those five cars what should happen for the transmission field we have not given any default value like say it can be blank right but then we have not specified that or if if it is not blank what should be the value that we want to store for the uh, transmission field for those five cars so that is not specified right so that's why it is giving me this error it is saying one provide of default now and second quit and enter it manually so i'm going to do is quit and enter it manually over here i'm going to say null as true so since i don't want to give any default value it can be blank also but I don't want to give it uh, that. So I'm going to make that field as nullable into database. So that is what this null true means. And this should solve our error. Over here, if you see mileage, right? I have given default as zero, right? 
so that fixes it over here and over here in hybrid it is given as default as false so that fixes it otherwise we had to give null as true or whatever and over here transmission what we could have done is default and give it some value but i want to keep it as null uh, that means nullable field and i want uh, the value to be null at start for all the old uh, old data so that is what i'm doing i'm going to again click on top and click enter and this time it is able to create a migration and migration number is 002 and uh, it uh, it generates a random name okay and these are the changes in the migration you can go to the migration file you can check over here what is done so like operation add migration uh, add field and this uh, in the model name this is the name of the field and type of the field the same everything all the details are present that will be used for uh, that will be django will be using those details and pop propagating it into the database so now we'll do is we'll apply this let me clear this first python manage.py migrate again when you make a commit this file should be committed to the repo so now our migration number two is also applied let's run the project again and see python manage.py run server and if you see over here these are the old fields and if i refresh there will be new fields added correct so that means our migration has been applied successfully let's add one data okay i don't know how how much it is and like i am adding it just any random data okay now you see over here it says car object one and car object two if i click on this then only i get to know which is that okay it should be toyota what is that right so over here we can change this and to change that we don't really need any migration so i'll go to the models.py let me minimize this close this and over here we are going to say def in in the models str underscore underscore self that's it and then over here whatever you return that will be the data okay so i'm going to say f that is f string i'm using self dot year year of the car then self dot manufacturer of the car and then self dot name model name okay i'll click on save let it refresh go back to the browser and refresh over here now you can see the year of the car then brand of the car and then car name and if i click on this same data is present so that is what we have done so that's it for this django migration part one video guys make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out the part two video it is very important in order to become a pro django developer and make sure to like our video share and see you in the next one